Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and today guys are going to be doing the 88 rated base icon Luis Figo. This is a fantastic looking card and uh, I was able to pick him up for 675,000 coins in the four games that I played him with. He scored me four goals and got me two assists and he's also got a four star big foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along into his in game stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 88 vision, his 89 dribbling as well as his 90 short passing and finally 87 positioning and it also have the engine chemistry start applied to this Figo card and uh, if you take a look at his icon profile this was Luis Figo to so actually towards the back end of his career typically a lot of the lowest version of a particular icon is usually their baby version that's not the case with Luis Figo this is actually his version towards the back end of his career when he was playing for Inter Milan in which he was still a phenomenal player but obviously getting on for age a little bit but uh, even so a fantastic player a fantastic career for him as well and um, and I think he's great in FIFA 20 as well to be honest I used his 90 card his middle tier card quite a bit in FIFA 90 um, for I want to say maybe like a good month or so and I thought that was a quality card on the right hand side um, this is the only Figo card that is played central the other ones are always like in a wing position on the right hand side and stuff and uh, I think he's great as a cam in game with this team I used him in a 4 triple 2 formation I used him in the left sided cam and I've been doing really really well with this team so far um, in the 4 games that I played with Figo and Foot Champions he every game I won, which is really, really good, so I was very happy with that, I got 12 wins on the board now in Weekend League as well, which is pretty awesome, but anyway, um, let's focus on this Figo card and how he was to use in game, yeah, I thought it was quality, first of all, six goal contributions in four foot champions games, that's a fantastic return, and um, and, and that first pro is going to be his finishing, I thought his finishing was quality, his finishing stats aren't the most outrageous in the world, but they're still, you know, more than good enough for this stage of FIFA, they're fantastic really, I mean, 85 finishing, 87 positioning, um, 84 long shots, he scored me some important goals which went on to actually win games for me as well which is pretty awesome so um, finishing wise I couldn't fault it I thought actually his long shots felt pretty decent as well I can't remember if he scored too many goals from outside the box there was one actually where he made an insane chip and then like, the, the defender was able just to get the ball in time on the line the defender hits the bar and then it just falls to Lewandowski and Lewandowski taps it in so arguably figure could have got maybe even more than um, than four goals um, if I had maybe had like even a little bit more luck um, and you'll see that clip as well where like Figo hits the bar with a chip and um, towards like the back end of the video or something like that but uh, no yeah going uh, you know going back as I said finishing wise fantastic for Figo his second pro as well be his passing again passing stats phenomenal for Figo uh, 90 short passing 83 long passing uh, really good crossing uh, 88 vision as well that engine chem style takes all of his passing stats pretty much into the mid 90s which is fantastic for example his short passing goes to 94 uh, his vision goes to 92 and in game it's fantastic only two assists in the four games um, but at the end of the day he, he scored me four goals at the same time so I haven't got a problem with that and the two assists that he still provided were still pretty good at the same time as well so um, yeah through balls again as I've mentioned probably for a lot of cards that I've used as FIFA which is so usable and so easy to just punish opposition teams with um, it was fantastic so passing wise couldn't fault that his final pro as well be his dribbling again really really good dribbling Dribbling stats and that engine chem style makes once again his dribbling stats just absolutely phenomenal. It takes his balance up from the uh, from the high 70s into the middle 80s. It takes the legs of his agility up to 90. His dribbling goes to 97. Um, his ball control goes to 92. He feels great on the ball. Honestly, he feels so composed. I feel like. I feel like I know what I have to do with this card. Sometimes when I use players and I get the ball of them and I'm not sure whether to run with them, whether to pass the ball, whether to dribble. Um. Uh, uh, you know, some cards I'm just clueless with, but every time I got this ball with Figo, I just had total confidence in him that I could just drive the ball against opposition players and just absolutely destroy them, and, and Figo could certainly do that, and obviously he's also got the four-star skill moves as well, which is also fantastic. Um, it is a top card, there's no question about it. Is it a lot of coins? I think it's fair to say that yes, it is. His usual setup price is around 700,000 coins, um, and, you know, that's a lot at any stage of FIFA, but obviously, you know, we do have icon swaps available in the game now as well. For example, you can get, like, a 90 rated prime Rui Costa for like 17 or 18 tokens so you can effectively get that for free rather than getting an 88 Luis Figo having said that Luis Figo is, was a fantastic card in game I, I don't know how the stats compare between uh, Figo and Rui Costa but um, I have to say honestly Figo I thought was 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 great and I think if you if you're thinking of buying him um I buy him because I think he's honestly really, really good. And to get six goal contributions in four games and winning every single game with him as well, I think just showed that he's more than good enough and more, you know, he's going to be usable for quite a long time in this game. And um, this is not a card that will become unusable in a few months' time. I think even past Christmas time, going into Team of the Year, I still think he'd be a very effective, usable card. So think of like buying this card right now as sort of like an investment for the long period and that you're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of him and a lot of, um, you know, I think he's a game winner. Honestly, I really, really do think that. I don't say that about 
a lot of cards, but honestly, I, th this Vigo card, I was very, very impressed with. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish up this play. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.